Hi everyone, I'm Nancy, and today I'm going to read the chapter Friday of the book named Diary of a Wimpy Kid One. Let's start. Friday. Well, now I've gone and done it. Last night, after everyone was in bed, I snuck downstairs to listen to Roderick's CD on the stereo in the family room. I put Roderick's new headphones on and cranked up the volume real high. Then I hit play. First, let me just say I can definitely understand why they put that parental warning sticker on the CD. But I got, but I only got to hear about thirty seconds of the first song before I got interrupted. It turns out I didn't have the headphones plugged into the stereo, so the music was actually coming through the speakers, not the headphones. Dad marched me up to the room and shut the door behind him. Then he said, "Let you and me." Have a talk, friend. Whenever Dad says "friend" that way, you know you're in trouble. The first time Dad ever said "friend" like that to me, I didn't get that he was being sarcastic. So I kind of let my guard down.、Mm, I thought "friend" is good. I don't make that mistake anymore. Tonight, Dad yelled at me for about ten minutes, and then I guess he decided he'd rather be in bed than standing in my room in his underwear. He told me I was grounded from play, playing video games for two weeks, which is about what I expected. I guess I should be glad. I guess I should be glad that is all he did. The good thing about Dad is that when he gets mad, he cools off real quick, and then it's over. Usually, if you mess up in front of Dad, he just throws whatever he's got in his hands at you. Good time to screw up is when he was reading newspaper, but bad time to screw up is when a brick. Is in his hand. Oh, mom has a totally different style when it comes to punishment. If you mess up, if you mess up, and mom catches you, the first thing he does is to take a few days to figure out what your punishment should be. And while you're waiting. You do all these nice things to try to get off easier. I just dust the di- dining room for the heck of it. How thoughtful of you! But then, after a few days, right when you forget you're in trouble, that's when she lays it on you. Are you having fun? Yeah. No video games for a week. So. That is the end of the chapter Friday of the book named Diary of a Wimpy Kid One, and it's time to end the video. Goodbye, everyone.